For centuries, sword and buckler was one of the most common weapon combinations in Europe. The first according fencing schools were documented in the late 12th century, the times of Richard the Lionheart. But buckler fighting reportedly was still popular some 400 years later, in the days of William Shakespeare. The agile and light weapons were used not only in war, but particularly in so-called Bloßfechten, that is, combat between unarmored opponents. Lawsuits would eventually be resolved in judicial combat, with plaintiff and defendant fighting it out with sword and buckler. But they could also hire champions to fight such ordeals in their stead. These professional swordsmen were martial arts experts. However, their profession was regarded as dishonorable and put them outside medieval society. Like executioners and torturers, they were regarded as a dirty necessity of the law, but somehow only marginally a part of it. Buckler fencing was also practiced as a sport and was equally popular with journeymen as well as with noblemen. It goes without saying that daily fencing training also helped to prepare for self-defense in times of war, feuding, and street robbery. To always be ready to fight, the buckler strap was simply slung over sword hilt and scabbard mouth. The art of combat with sword and buckler was preserved in several manuscripts. However, these treatises addressed a knowledgeable audience familiar with fundamental tactics and martial concepts. Before even starting with any advanced play, the modern practitioner has to work on these basics first. This DVD tries to offer according assistance. Body mechanics, weapon use, and tactical principles are demonstrated and explained in detail.